I think we can all agree that uh, buying a home can be cumbersome. So what can you do to make that process easier? Check it out. Do not do these things. Do not obtain any new debt. Do not change jobs. Do not make large cash deposits. And do not schedule the moving trucks until the keys are in your hand. When you're obtaining a mortgage, you're obtaining a very large debt. As a result, for that debt to be approved, underwriters need to look at your total debt picture. If you obtain new debt, that changes things and that can significantly slow down the process. Don't change jobs. I know, this one sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how many times it happens. Your new debt that you're about to take on with this mortgage is dependent upon your income, your ability to pay it back. And if you change your jobs in that process, you're changing the income that was being verified during the process. Don't change the job and you won't have to slow down that process significantly by re-verifying brand new income. Large cash deposits are a bad idea. Here's why. You're about to put a down payment or pay for some of the costs involved in this transaction and your ability to pay that down payment or pay for some of those costs with your own funds is important. If you make a cash deposit, underwriters can't prove that that money was actually yours. So cash deposits, bad idea. Yes, there is a closing date on the contract. There is an expectation that you should be able to move in by X date. But the reality is there's so many things and so many people involved that there's a chance that you could close early, you could close on that date, or you could close after that date. As a result, it's best for your situation if you just wait to schedule a moving truck until after the keys are in your hand. Bonus tip, don't go out of town. You'd be surprised how often that happens. People go out of town during the mortgage process. You have to be able to sign documents and provide documents and provide information throughout the process. And when you're out of town, that doesn't work. Here are some things that you need to make sure you do. Do respond quickly. Do ask lots of questions. Make sure you're communicating your expectations and any changes and do start the process early. You're about to obtain hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. As a result, things are gonna be needed from you. When things are needed from you, make sure you get them back as soon as possible. Respond quickly. This is a very big deal. Don't be that customer that gets it to us a week or two later. That's gonna make the transaction slow down. The mortgage transaction is gonna be frustrating for you if you don't know what's going on. That means you need to ask as many questions as possible, even if it feels like a dumb question. Ask questions early, ask questions often, and it will dramatically increase the experience that you have. Communicate changes and your expectations as often as possible. So if you do have a job change coming up or you do have a large deposit coming in, talk about that with your mortgage advisor so they can structure the transaction, manage your expectations, and ensure the underwriting of the transaction happens as smooth as possible despite those changes. Do start that process early. Do not wait till the day of or the day before you're putting an offer on in a home. If you think you're gonna be buying at any time within the next couple of months or years, meet with a mortgage advisor. This is a big deal. That way, we can ensure you have the information, you have the processes, and you have all the documentation set up ahead of time to make sure that your mortgage experience can happen as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Okay, no one really likes mortgages. The process can be cumbersome and it's just frustrating to deal with. But if you follow these do's and don'ts, it will make your experience in obtaining a mortgage a whole lot better. To talk with a mortgage advisor who is focused on your experience and making it as smooth as possible, go to moneywellrooted.com and talk with a mortgage advisor today.